All right, we're going to go through a couple of uh, crazy tour stories that have happened through the years. Obviously, every single day, anything at any time can happen. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Whatever you plan for, didn't plan for, is going to happen no matter what. So we've had uh, we've been on the road for 20 years, and uh, we've had buses catch on fire. We've had, matter of fact, the last video show we just did for Audio, audio War, we had a guard tower oh built, it was like a prisoner scene. Chucky e. Chuck was in the guard tower. The guard tower goes up in flames. Shout I out get to burned in the Fitzpatrick face. Fitzpatrick and the Fitz Army doing roosters, catching it on fire. Yes, and then Chucky realizes, he like realizes that the flames are coming up and he's trapped in this guard tower. He's holding two flames. AK-47s. <laughs> Threw him down the dirt ball. He caught it and I did a hop, skip, and a jump out. Duck yeah. rolled. You almost got caught on fire. I did get caught on fire. You did, right? My face got fire. burned. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, but, so I want to hear this black titty story. Oh, Tainted Love? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, since we got uh, the camera rolling, there's a thing called the Back Lounge. Uh, in this realm of the Kaimal King, it's called the BLL, Back Lounge Loadies. We had a good old friend, JM. He uh, invited, he was a pussy coordinator. This is the days when uh, Pot Kalika was around, rest in peace. And we had all kinds of vagina floating around. It was like a fucking sea of it. You wouldn't believe it. There's a lineup outside this bus door. So like people would be getting invited on, come on back. Anybody's sleeping, we're creeping. So <laughs> I, w I was invited on this, right? And uh, so this is before people were married, people had kids and stuff. So this is what you call a back clowns. You know what I mean? You had, you had a dude here, chick here, chick here, dude here, chick here, dude here, chick, 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 okay? And I came back here because another chick wanted to come back and what you did, you cut the lights off, right? And when I came back here and turned the lights on, this dude was sucking the biggest titty I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you, boom, sucking the titty. And like, oh, and like action packed and then like things are just. So then the condoms started flying out. Who needs condoms? Yeah, yeah, woo, woo. Later on that night, the stories are being told and the homie came out here to tell he's like dude chucky came and saved the day with the condoms and i was sucking the titty and as soon as he said that slow motion his tooth dislocated from his mouth and went poof flew up in the air and fucking landed in the bottom of the bll his tooth came out of his fucking mouth from sucking on that titty that's called tainted love now the next day we ended up in florida there was a red tide the guy said i'm gonna go surfing he went surfing in a pair of tore up jeans and then uh, they told him not to, he got sick. So he starts puking through his tooth and it shot like a put, it shot like a it shot kind of like his pipe right here. <sighs> through his tooth and the dopest part about it, but the seagulls at the beach in Florida were so hungry that they were just eating the puke before it hit the sand. Back lounge loady shit. That's just one story, there's more. But, uh, boy. We had, started this tour, we just started with this whack ass band that was on the run and uh, I don't even know where the fuck they came from but either way they were in a minivan and they did some bullshit about the seventh show and I had I had eight of these quarter stick dynamite things this dude where it makes and they're like fucking film canisters can of fuse type thing and you can tile the fuse up and fucking tie them together so I tied them under the back on this tour they did some fucked up shit so it was, they deserved it but First I went around to all the caps on the tires, put little pebbles in, and slow leak the tires down, and then blew up their back fender on the way out of town. And they were already kicked off tour. That, the be that was the best blow job that band ever got. Maybe the only one. Yeah, so good one. A little more aggressive, but it's okay. It's okay. So one time we were, uh, we were going through Texas, and it's the middle of the night, and I don't know why we, we we're in Texas, so we, you know the borders are pretty pretty intense, but the bus driver made a wrong turn and started heading towards Mexico and wound up at this border check. The next thing I know, we have, we're kind of like five in the morning, everyone's kind of asleep, and we have, I look up out of my bunk, peek out, because I hear, I know the bus is stopping. Uh, they're weird, those border cops 
with dogs searching the bus. They were looking, they searched the whole bus through the heat scanners, but they were actually cool about the weed. They found a little bit, didn't give us a hard time. They were really looking for illegal immigrants or something else at the time. But um, then we had another bus driver. I'm not going to tell you the details other than uh, he had dropped us off in Arizona and then was heading back to the East Coast and wound up getting popped with 200 pounds. The whole bus was stuffed with 200 pounds. We didn't running, have no air conditioning. Running you fucking <laughs> thief. <laughs> Some fucking thief. Are you, I'm not even talking about that. Story. Oh, the other one. But, yeah, but he, got, he wound up uh, getting Sorry. caught with 200 so pounds many. on our bus going to the East Coast, but it wasn't ours. The driver was running it to the East Coast. I don't know who sold it to him. I, I would never been say. popped at the Canadian border a few times. Been popped at the Canadian border a few times. The ones with this guy right here. Okay, well, here's the thing. Up I think it was uh, Born for Battle, DGAF. Beginning of that tour, I got arrested for having a warrant, and I got bailed out. We still made one, but when it came to going to the Canadian border, we had Big Hoss, he's kind of like a gangbanger. He's not like your normal citizen that can go into like a grocery store and like get help easily. But he was driving and I told him from the bottom of my heart, do not go past that Canadian border. I called Chadillac and, and you guys, I said don't go to the Canadian border. And we didn't, it, it was an eight hour trip down I-80, eight hours away, but we still made it on time, but someone had a little bit of weed in the back of their pants in the trailer of hard night and 